and there's no reason but we were born this way, sir. So look how this is growing. Bigger and bigger. And harder and harder from year to year. And how can you really tell us that we are not in a model? As the wheels of industry turn harder and faster, these cries went out from Manchester to London to Cardiff, all throughout the civilized world. Cries for recognition of simple human rights. What had started as a simple expedition, a fact-finding trip for hard times, had become a horrible journey into the nasty, dark heart of our national economy. How fitting it was, then, that these individuals, these poor factory workers, were forced to color the textiles with the tint of the master's soul. Now, it should be, hopefully, a very, very short jump of logic to find out where I came up with one of my most memorable literary figures. Oh, but he was a tight fist in hand at the grindstone. <laughs> a squeezing, wrenching, grasping. Clutching covetous old sinner. <laughs> no warmth could warm him. No wintry cold chill him. That man is Scrooge. Yes, indeed. Scrooge. A man who abused his poor clerk, Bob Cratchit. One lump of coal, Mr. Cratchit. Scrooge. A man who thought that prisons and union workhouses were wonderful places to go and Christmas care at. Scrooge! A man who it might be said was single-handedly responsible for the formation of labor unions. Scrooge. Yes, indeed. Now, you might be saying to yourself, nobody privately now, Mr. Davis, you're indeed a dour individual. I need only lo open up the local paper to be as depressed as you're making me now. <laughs> that is why we read past page three. Now, Scrooge. We all think of Scrooge as the worst possible employer, the person no one really wants to work for. Yes? But really, what is in a name? What was Scrooge's first name? Ebenezer. Ebenezer. Yes. But what does Ebenezer mean? We all have names, yes. Does anybody know the meaning of their first name? What is your name? Walk with God. Walk with God. Very good. Margarita. What? Margarita. What does it mean? A uh, flower. Flower. Uh, right. But what does Ebenezer mean? All right. Let's go on. Scrooge, Ebenezer, was better than his word. Of course, he wanted to kill him. <laughs> he was as good a friend, as good a master, and as good a man as the good old city knew. Wait a minute, this is the end of the book. This doesn't sound anything like the beginning. And to Tiny Tim, who died. No? Tiny Tim? Oh, who did not die? <laughs> Scrooge was a second father. Yes, indeed, ladies and gentlemen. Does anyone know what Ebenezer means? A reminder of God's presence and help. Oh. It took four ghosts to remind him of his humanity, but I think he got the point. 